teeny tiniest little head in the world. So tell us a bit about Rosie. Yeah, so she is two months old and she did come to us with her brother. Um, now she, she wants to you, <laughs> of course. Now she does. Um, she has beautiful fur coating, like with the stripes and spots. She's so um, pure white. Yes. Oh my, her little chest is so cute. She is a purr box, absolutely <laughs> adorable and sweet. And then and the best she part has of her a box is tail. She doesn't have a tail or like a little teeny tiny one at least. I just think that's adorable. It is. I have a corgi, so you know she oh, doesn't have a tail is. either. So we get that <laughs> part of it. And oh my gosh, she's just so cute. She is just loving all the attention. She's snuggling up. She was giving you little kisses before. So obviously <laughs> uh, a very cute little kitten. And I'm sure she'd make a good forever home yes. for just about anybody too. Oh, yes. Obviously she has a brother too. So if you want more than one, you could take another one home with you. Certainly I did could. ask if we knew if the brother had a tail or not, but we are <laughs> unsure of that. So we'll have to wait on. You have to go see for yourself, you know, head on to six and go on top two. Um, so we're talking this, um, I noticed on your Facebook page, which mm -hmm. I actually thought thought was a great idea to get the community involved with you guys you're doing a microchip event so I got Ruby microchip when we picked her up but some people don't have their dogs or cats yeah. microchipped yet so what is that for someone that might not know mm -hmm. and how do they get involved yeah so on June 25th we have our microchip event coming up so cute. Um, <laughs> it is super important to have your pets microchipped um, I know that uh, most people have collars and tags but those aren't always reliable mm -hmm. as they can break off or they're illegible um, so the microchips are the best way to go, and uh, we have uh, 120 uh, microchips that we'll be giving away as first come, first served basis, um, and they are just put through um, on their between their shoulder blades, and it's yeah. about the size of a grain of rice. Yeah, and I noticed when the vet was telling us about Ruby too, it's virtually painless for yes. the dogs and cats too. So is it for dogs and cats? Is yes. It, okay. Yep, for and dogs then and cats. when is the event? I'm not sure. If yeah, you that is June 25th, listening. and that okay. is from 9 to 11. So at perfect. Our Yes. And as you mentioned, first come, first serve. So you want to make sure that if you do want to be a part of the event, mm -hmm. you maybe get there a little bit early just yes. to get yourself in line because I'm sure that will be pretty popular. She is so cute. I know. She's you were just loving kisses. all over her. She's <laughs> loving you back now. And I, she's like, wants to snuggle, I think, too. Like she. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that there we found the sweet spot to get her to stop with one for a second. But she is adorable and up for adoption right now at Sixa. You guys can head on over to sixa.org or to their location at Washington Church Road there. Uh, phone number on the screen too to set up an adoption appointment because who doesn't want this cute little face to go home <laughs> with them? Thank you so much, Erin, for coming on with yes, us today. We always look forward to this segment. I say that every week, but honestly, it's the yeah. highlight of my week. So we do appreciate you guys stopping by today. Of course. And now, oh, well, I was going to throw it back to you guys at the desk, but it's coming back to me. So, <laughs> if you can go straight into the weather this morning, we are seeing a little bit of a clearer start.